Hey, meet Tom. Tom was playing tennis with his brother-in-law who convinced him to purchase a life insurance policy to secure the future of his family. Doing some research on the internet, Tom realized that term life insurance is one of the most popular options out there and would like to get more information. Well, Tom is right. Term life insurance is an amazing option, but there are many details that he does not know about. He needs truthful and unbiased advice to make a well-informed decision. If you feel like Tom and you need to know more about term life insurance, how it works, its main components, and its different types, make sure you complete this video till the end. We will also go through some numbers for term life insurance based on a particular death benefit. Term life insurance, which is sometimes referred to as pure life insurance, ensures a payment of a death benefit if the policyholder dies within a specific term. If the agreed upon term expires, the policyholder can have the option of renewing the policy for another term or convert the policy to a whole life insurance that does not expire. Make sure you check out our video on whole life insurance to get more information on this. The policyholder can also let the coverage expire, which would mean that they will not be covered anymore and that the insurance is terminated. Term life insurance is very suitable for young parents who may be eligible for large amounts of coverage for a reasonably low cost. Term life insurance is also suitable for people who want temporary life insurance and do not want to commit to their entire life or pay high premiums. The premiums you pay for the term life insurance are mainly based on the value of the policy, which is also known as the payout amount or the death benefit. Other factors directly influence premiums such as age, gender, and health. That is why the insurance company requires a medical exam before providing you with coverage. The insurance company may also request some information about your driving record, current medications, smoking status, occupation, hobbies, and family history. Factors that are not directly related to the insured party, such as interest rates, the financials of the insurance company, and state regulations also affect the number of premiums paid. The premiums paid for term life insurance are lower than other types of life insurance, since it only provides a death benefit. That would be in addition to the fact that most term life insurance policies expire before paying the death benefit, so the overall risk to the insurance company is lower than that of whole life insurance. Just to get a sense of it, a healthy 35-year-old man who does not smoke and obtained a 20-year term insurance policy that provides a death benefit of $250,000 would typically pay something between $20 to $30 per month. This is considered very cheap when compared to whole life insurance, which would require the same person to pay around $200 to $300 per month to get this permanent coverage. If you die during the agreed term of the insurance, the insurance company will pay the death benefit, otherwise known as the face value of the policy, to your beneficiaries. Beneficiaries of the policy can be a person, people, business, or a non-profit organization that gets the death benefit if you pass away. This non-taxable death benefit may be used by the beneficiaries to settle any outstanding consumer or healthcare debts you have, funeral costs, or even pay off a mortgage debt. You need to make sure that your family members know about your term policy and who to contact in the case that you passed away, so they can access the death benefit available to them. The death benefit may remain unclaimed if the beneficiaries do not have clear instructions on accessing the dollars available to them. Nonetheless, if you die while the term insurance has already finished, there will be no payout for the beneficiaries. Term life policies have no value other than the guaranteed death benefit. Term life insurance comes in several flavors, including convertible, increasing, mortgage, and annual renewable. Each one of these types targets a specific need for potential customers. Convertible term allows the term insurance policy, which typically has a limited number of years, to be converted to a whole life insurance before it expires. It does not require the policyholder to do a medical exam, nor are any health conditions considered when the term policy is converted. In the typical term life policy, the insurance company could refuse to renew your coverage at the end of the policy's term if the policyholder developed a serious illness. Increasing term allows the increase of death benefit as the time goes forward. The premiums do increase with increasing the death benefit, but it allows the insured party to pay lower premiums early in life, 
when they have a lot of bills and expenses, then increase it when they have a better financial standing. The other benefit of an increased term is that the policyholder does not need to qualify for another policy at an older age to get a higher death benefit. The mortgage term, which is sometimes referred to as the decreasing term, is the exact opposite of the increasing term. It's done in a way that the death benefit amount decreases over time. This is to match the death benefit with the decrease of the policyholder's outstanding mortgage amount. The idea is that you don't need as much life insurance if you have less mortgage debt. But the word decreasing may deceive some people, as the premiums are smaller than the normal term insurance, but do remain constant over the entire term, even as the death benefit declines. The last type is the annual renewable, which each year renews the term insurance for a higher premium since the policyholder is a year older. The main benefit of annual renewable is that the coverage is guaranteed to be approved every year. But clearly, this may not be a financially suitable option for everyone, since the premiums do increase with every year's renewal. Once you have chosen the most suitable insurance option for you, make sure that you check out our video on the best life insurance companies in the US. So let's go over the main points we mentioned in this video, shall we? Term insurance is a type of life insurance that provides coverage for a specific number of years. If the insured died within that period, a death benefit is given to the policy beneficiary. But if the policy expires, a death benefit will not be paid. There are several types of term insurance policies that provide different benefits based on the different needs of potential policyholders. Some of these term life policies offer decreasing or increasing benefits over time, as well as the option to convert from term to whole life insurance. If you like this video, make sure that you demolish that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button to receive notifications about our most recent videos.